Right, just to follow up on an earlier video where I showed this cylinder barrel jammed on the studs just to confirm that that is the problem the fit of the barrel through the studs I've now got them all unscrewed from the crankcase so they're free to move and you've got room to slide up and down and wiggle about in the barrel stud holes so they're not a problem, the size of them but the positioning of them and possibly the angle is a problem because I couldn't get this cylinder barrel to get anywhere near bottoming out on the crankcase mouth with all the studs screwed home and it wasn't until I got the very last one undone that the barrel started to move freely so I would think that they all need a degree of looking at um, so this could take a bit of time unfortunately and uh, you know I went to uh, great efforts to fit the cylinder barrel over the piston and rings and get it all right and it's going to have to come off again. Um, we're at top dead centre now as well and this is just show us that I'm not going to be using a compression plate that came with all the bits and pieces for this one because I'm happy that the piston is not sticking up too far through the barrel uh, like the owner suspected it might do also the underside of the cylinder head here is pretty good as well even if it has been skimmed it hasn't lost much at all to speak of so I'm not worried about the piston banging into the valves or anything so we'll go with just one base gasket and the usual head gasket and that'll do that job but uh, got to get the cylinder barrel sliding over these studs a little bit nicer than that first sort that problem out and then go from there <laughs> 